Records. Massive fish and bird kills in Arkansas. Up to 5,000 blackbirds just fell from the sky in the town of BB. This happened just before midnight on New Year's Eve. And then tonight, we're learning that some 100,000 fish have washed up on the shores of the Arkansas River, which is about 125 miles from well, uh, where the birds fell. And joining us now by phone from Little Rock is Keith Stevens. He's the spokesman for the Arkansas Game and Fish Commission. Keith, Jackie Jarris also here with us. Um, what is going on here? These are two very unusual circumstances. Pretty strange things um, going on here in Arkansas. Um, uh, unusual events that we don't often see. Um, we do have fish die-offs from time to time. Obviously, this is a pretty large one, so um, it's got our attention. Um, the birds, uh, that's really unusual. We've had birds that have fallen out of the sky before, but not in this number. Yeah, we've heard of birds falling out of the sky, you know, due to storms and thunderstorms and things like that. What do you think happened? Well, we think that uh, there's a possibility that uh, maybe uh, some New Year's Eve revelers uh, in the area where the birds were roosting uh, may have uh, shot some fireworks off and uh, stressed the birds to the point where they actually died. We're talking now in the break, we were, you think it might have literally been that they had heart attacks because they were so sort of, it was such a fright for them. It's, it's possible. Um, we're going to send uh, the birds off to uh, two testing facilities. Um, where they'll do necropsies on them, and uh, we'll find out exactly what happened. Uh, but this, uh, it's really pointing towards that right now. It, it obviously could be a weather event, but um, we're kind of leaning the other way. Yeah, and this was, I mean, 5,000 birds. That's a lot of birds, and they were scattered across a pretty large area as well. Can you give us a few more details? I mean, people woke yeah. up, and the, and the birds were in their yards. That's, that's right. Um, it happened just before midnight. Um, one of our wildlife officers was actually... Uh, on the scene, uh, by the time he got there, there were still birds that were falling. Um, it's, it's, uh, it's a rural area of Arkansas, and uh, there's a lot of blackbirds uh, that uh, tend to migrate around the uh, 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 agricultural fields in the state. And uh, they were roosting in an area where they typically roost, and uh, there were some people that, in the subdivision that uh, were shooting some fireworks off in celebration of uh, of New Year's and, and, and may have caused this. We just don't know at this point. And Keith, back to the fish. I mean, what are the different things? You said that this isn't entirely, it happens from time to time, although this is a big one. What are the different reasons for a fish kill like this? Well, uh, most of the time uh, when we do have fish kills, um, it's, it's low oxygen levels. Um, the, uh, the fish can't breathe um, or, or the water's too warm for our trout, but they're usually really small. Um, sometimes we do have diseases um, that uh, that will kill fish, but they're usually very small. This was a pretty, pretty wide area, about 20 miles of the Arkansas River, uh, but it was only one species of fish, so we feel like that uh, we'll narrow it down to some kind of a disease. What are people in Arkansas saying there, Keith? I mean, is, this is kind of weird, two pretty strange things in two days. Uh, well, we're just uh, waiting on the locust, I guess, to come in <laughs> next. next uh, right? it's, it's just really strange to have those so close together. Um, you know, it, it, I hope that it's not a sign of anything, but, um, you know, you never know.